I'm out in beautiful Rosebud, Victoria. Today we're checking out this new Atlantic Caravans Endeavour. This is a single axle, absolute ripper of a caravan. Really, really like that layout. We're gonna step inside. It's got two bunks, a split bathroom, plenty of room for mum and dad. Tell you what, I reckon Atlantic is on a winner with this van. Let's check it out. This is what I mean about this layout. I mean, look, it's a compact caravan, single axle, and yet we've got an east-west bed for the parents in the front of the caravan. A little lounge here that's gonna suit, you know, three, maybe four people. But for me, the highlight of this caravan is the rear. You've got two bunks, couple of drawers underneath, and a split bathroom with a fully molded fiberglass shower cubicle on the near side, and a separate cubicle on the off side containing the wash basin as well as a cassette toilet. This is a really neat setup, and of course you can give the kids privacy using this concertina screen. I actually think this is a fantastic layout. Who says that you have to have, you know, a 22 foot caravan to be absolutely comfortable with the kids when you're out on the road? Now, one thing that I like about this bunk setup is that each bunk has its own storage cupboard at the head of the bed, just in here. And what a great idea, because of course, kids have got their books, their iPads, balls, whatever. They need somewhere to put them, and that works well. Now, one thing I notice about this dinette table setup is that Atlantic has given an angle to the table to facilitate walkway access through to the rear of the van. And that's just a really, really good idea. It actually adds to the sense of space inside this van. Now the bed at the front of the van for the parents comprises an inner spring mattress and that can be lifted up for some access to some storage space underneath. Now Atlantic Caravans, they tell me that they can supply all the linen for the bedding inside their vans by a company called Meander Wild. They're a caravan bedding specialist. After all the linen that you might buy for your beds at home, well, that's not always gonna fit the beds inside the van. Now, when it comes to external storage on this single axle Endeavour, well, you've got a front tunnel boot. While on the A-frame, you have this checker plate storage box. Look, it's a fairly slim line unit, but you'll get some cam chairs and that sort of thing. And you've also got some checker plate jerry can holders either side, not to mention two nine kilo gas cylinders, as well as a DO35 coupling up front. Now this caravan is also equipped with a reversing camera. As such, you've got the cabling up the front, and of course they'll give you the in-car display, you know, when you pick up the van at handover. Now, as far as the cladding on this caravan goes, Atlantic has given the Endeavour composite aluminium as well as black checker plate. And this blue aluminium at the back of the van, well, that's just a real standout. I actually really like it. Our little Endeavour here, this weighs 2,160 kilos at care. The ATM is 2,800 kilos, so that's a load carrying capacity of 640 kilos, which to me, look, that seems pretty generous. And you know, towing this caravan around town, I mean, it's towed really, really nicely. No issues whatsoever. It's a fun little caravan, it's well equipped, and I see no reason why, you know, the parents and a couple of kids wouldn't be nice and comfortable in this rig as they get around Australia. Now, speaking of getting around, to take a beach walk. Rosebud, if you've never been, absolutely beautiful. <laughs>